Okay, here's a video on how to do the binomial distribution on the TI-36X Pro. Uh, we're going to want to go into the distributions menu, which you can see is in blue here. It's um, the D-I-S-T-R right there. So I'm going to have to press the second key, and then uh, get into my stat reg and distributions. I'll press over to get into the distribution submenu, and then I'll go sc scroll down for a little while. There's my binom binomial PDF, and just below it is the binomial CDF. So let's say I'm doing the binomial PDF, say I'm trying to find the probability of getting exactly some number of successes. I'll press enter. Uh, in general, I'm going to do list on, or a single on here. And I'm just pressing enter again. Um, so trials, that's the number of trials. So if you're, um, let's say there's, uh, you're rolling a die six times, your trial would be six, your number of trials would be six. If it's a six-sided die, then this number would be one out of six. Uh, you know, if maybe, well, I guess it depends on what your probability of a, what your idea of a success is. If your idea of a success is getting a, a single number, let's say a three, then it would, this would be one-sixth. Not one-third, one-sixth. Uh, hit enter. And X, that's the number of successes. So the number of trials, the probability, and the number of successes. So this would give me the probability of getting exactly two successes when I roll a die six times. Hit calc, and you can see it gives me the value there. Um, oops. It gives me the value up here. If I want to store it and use it later, I can store it in one of these variables. I can say store it in, X, in Y uh, to be used again later. So if I hit quit now to recall that, here all my variables are. This button right here, the X, Y, Z, T, whatever. If I press it twice, it gives me Y. And there's that 0.2 value that was just stored. All right, um, let's look at the binomial PDF again. Oops, over in distributions. Binomial PDF. But this case, I'm going to look at all. So what all does is this gives me the entire distribution. You can see it gives me the number of trials and the probability of a success, but there's no, it doesn't ask for X because this is going to go through all the different possible values of x. Um, it's going to store it in one of the lists on the calculator, so on L1. I hit calc. It takes a little, little bit. And ignore this stuff over in L2. We're talking about just the stuff in L1 here. You can see there's the probability of exactly zero successes, exactly one, exactly two successes. That's the number we saw before. Exactly three successes, and so on all the way up to exactly seven successes. Now be careful about the, the index on your, um, on your list here. Uh, list one index seven is the probability of six successes. This is because it's, uh, it's, the list starts out at index one instead of starting out at index zero. That's why those numbers are slightly off. But this gives you all the probabilities. If you were to sum all those up, it would sum to one.